very good afternoon to all of you really we have been uh, taken the classes uh, in the last three uh, three weeks ago uh, during these three weeks i am i am affected with covid and i have recovered completely right away from today onwards so that is why i am taking the classes today somehow so in database management systems during our offline classes i have taken uh, sql so i'd like to I'd like to so start that particular sql in that particular manner uh, as it is and let me start our work uh, with uh, the original so syllabus here so unit number 1 unit number 1 is uh, introduction to database systems and the characteristics of uh, database uh, databases and uh, file systems and so on and so forth many number of uh, so topics are there here today we'd like to we'd like to consider the first topic of uh, unit number 1 so before going to take this particular uh, uh, database management systems i'd like to convey one particular issue to you people that uh, this Uh, database management systems is very very important uh, subject or course for you, and uh, during this particular uh, period of time, you have to learn and you have to so uh, uh, you, you 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 have to uh, so pay attention towards my classes when uh, so uh, SQL PLS skill is going on. i don't know how many days this uh, uh, lockdown will be continued however so it could be taken i mean lockdown during lockdown period we are uh, supposed to take uh, so this uh, online classes only during online you please go through so what i am supposed to give you and i'm also identifying one of the uh, apps i mean android apps to be uh, taken into consideration when uh, so so called uh, uh, practical uh, kind of approach will be going on with our uh, so classes here and basically so the course outcomes is so you would like to learn what is relational database management systems and uh, so you may be describe what are the relational database management systems and object oriented relational database management systems and then you can create maintain uh, for multiple different kinds of uh, databases i am supposed to give you so mongo db and uh, oracle both will be given to you the so, mongo db first oracle will be discussed with you then uh, i'll introduce how mongo db is going to uh, apply for uh, database management system so i'll also be given uh, given to you and you may be operate normalization of the completion of this course uh, you may be operate normalization and you may be so also define so this uh, entity relationship diagrams while uh, uh, database management systems are going to be discussed with you then how so data storage issues and how uh, if you have any issue with you then how you can solve that particular issue so everything will be so taken into consideration and you can also address so management of data efficiency privacy security and ethical responsibility of uh, strategic storage while uh, things are being going on here so these are the five outcomes of our uh, the total subject our course and uh, this course is mainly aimed to uh, create uh, uh, how to create uh, client server based Uh, databases and how you are supposed to store the data and how you are supposed to evaluate the data while uh, data is being stored all these things are going to be so taken into consideration now so i'd like to i'd like to talk uh, uh, unit number 1 right away with the basics too much basics let me to start uh, unit number 1 with the database system so before going to take this particular database systems actually who was uh, invented or uh, who was uh, identified the word database and uh, what he was creating then followed by what are different different kinds of databases which were identified by some other people some other pioneer people in the 
computer science. Let us uh, go ahead and one by one. Now, so uh, and uh, this course was uh, prepared by me, database management system, which was prepared by me. And my name is Gopal Reddy, Associate Professor and Head of uh, Department CSC in AMRD College of Engineering. And it was prepared by me. And uh, look at this very important point we would like to concentrate is uh, history of uh, databases. So what are the, so who was identified this particular name and who was uh, taken uh, this particular name at any first to the computer science letters I will here. Normally database is uh, organized collection of uh, the data. So, and it is uh, being uh, stored, it is being accessed electronically from a computer system. No paper, no, nothing will be used. And everything will be electronically stored using a particular computer and how you can store the data and how you can access the data so is being mentioned by the database and the database management system okay so actually organized collection of data uh, here in the sense if you are uh, supposed to store the data so how the storage will be whether it is in a particular form or uh, not in a particular form everything will be so taken into consideration by database. And the database management system is uh, an uh, so application software. It is not a system software, it is application software. And uh, this application software can be used to interact with the users, mainly end users, end users in the sense of the people who are actually using this particular database. Something like uh, the people who are uh, so, uh, uh, we are the people who will draw withdraw money from the ATM. So we are end users, and some people may book the ticket, uh, and they will be continuously watching that whether my ticket is. I mean, my position is uh, so considered or not. Packet list or uh, confirmed is something like that. Everything will be taken into consideration. Those people will be called as the end users. But not worry. So how many number of uh, how many kinds of users are there? And uh, all those users' roles and responsibilities will also be discussed by the third class of uh, this database management system. And we also considered several number of applications. And uh, all these end users', end users activities and application activities will be used to capture and analyze the data. So data will be always captured, will be taken into consideration. And that captured data is used to analyze so analyze in the sense, so for example, if you consider any uh, market or otherwise uh, uh, Reliance Smart or something else, they may be captured entire uh, ES data and they will analyze that uh, which product is being sold uh, very efficiently, something like that. So some such kind of analysis and forecasting will be done. All these operations will be done by an application software that application software is database management systems. Okay, that is the point uh, where I'd like to make in terms of database management systems here. And uh, followed by this database, actually database or data or database management system is actually identified by Charles Batchman. So he is Charles Batchman and he was created uh, first of its kind of a database uh, uh, system and uh, that database system is known as integrated data store IDS integrated data store and this integrated data store will be based on network data model network data model in the sense so network normally network data model will be seems so something like this so one client will be there and the second client will be there third client will be there and the fourth client will be there. So if you, if, if you want to make them into network model, so connections will be same in the same way here. For every, from one particular node to all other nodes, so the data is being processed here. So this is called as network model. Such kind of model has been used and he was, uh, he was uh, identified one particular management system, a database system, that database system is integrated data store. For this particular integrated data store, he got a Turing Award. Turing in the sense, 
So Alan Turing is one of the, the pioneers in computer science who has identified analytical machine for the modern days. So in the name of for him, the Turing Award is being uh, presented to people who are uh, giving uh, are, uh, are doing their excellence in computer science. More specifically speaking, in terms of analysis or in terms of uh, implementation of data So he got the uh, uh, in, 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 in Turing Award in uh, 1962. Of, uh, that is one particular system. I mean, there is one particular conference in computer science that is uh, Codacent, data system language kind of Codacent. So uh, within that uh, Codacent conference, he got uh, uh, Turing Award. So he was introduced to one particular data, data system. That system is called uh, the integrated data store. Okay, he was introduced in uh, so probably September 1960, and he got a uh, uh, Turing Award probably in 1962 of May, something like that. Okay, he is the person who uh, uh, introduced the name database to the world so for the first time in 1960. And how the uh, things will be looks like. So, what is the uh, what is the I mean, pictorial representation? How the data will be stored? This is the way of uh, data which is being stored in in in, uh, uh, in uh, IDS, integrated data systems. Okay. So here, I hope that everybody have some kind of idea reg regarding to threaded binary trees. Threaded binary trees. So these threaded binary trees are uh, directly connected with uh, any, at any level, any node is directly connected with parent, okay? So similarly, as like as a threaded binary tree, he was uh, implemented, implemented, uh, that's the that ideas. And here, child in the sense, first child, the second child, third child, what does it mean? Each and every child will be considered as uh, a record one particular uh, organization system. For example, I'd like to mention AMRT College of Engineers uh, 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 faculty data will be there. So this is the faculty master. The parent will be called as the faculty master, the table name, I mean uh, the database name. So within this particular database name, first two faculty details, second faculty details, third faculty details, fourth faculty details, fifth faculty details, and so on, n number of faculty details. Every faculty detail will be connected to uh, the master record, directly to master record. And every uh, uh, faculty will be connected to its next faculty record. So here the problem is, as far as this particular total structure, the problem is, if you want to search one particular record from the parent, it is okay. It would be very easy to search for uh, one particular record right away from the parent or uh, so master record, there is no problem. But uh, when you stay somewhere else in uh, second, uh, second, uh, so faculty's information or second record, and wanted to search for uh, some twentieth record in a sense, it could be a very tedious process because you need to navigate second record to third record, fourth record, fifth record, and search for whether your record number is uh, required number or not, required record number or not. So I'd like to search for uh, n equal to twenty. 20th record I would like to search and I was stayed at uh, I was uh, uh, stayed at uh, so record number two okay so now it could be always such that uh, whether key I mean uh, this is uh, the key of record number so whether the key will be equal to 20 or not so it is not equal to 20 so that it will be moved to move forward and reach it to the third record and search for whether three will be equal to 20 if it is not then go for next, then go for next, then go for next, and so on and so forth. It will be so apply for linear search. It is not a binary search actually, it is linear search for the number of times until reach to this particular record. So, search operation is somewhat difficult to understand, uh, difficult to apply. And uh, while uh, any uh, new record will be there with you, one more uh, extra new record, one more faculty has been joined to the organization and wanted to store that particular uh, uh, person's information into this particular database, it will also be very tedious, it will also be very problematic. So these are the basic problems which are available with uh, 
so ideas somehow however what are the what are the number of problems which have been there with this particular ideas that doesn't matter but database the word database and the idea how data will be stored has given by bushman so he is the person who given to the word after introducing this bushman sir so uh, 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 idea something like this then in 1960 end of the 1960 probably that is december or november 1960 ibm international business machine so this international business machine was introduced one more uh, database system that is integrated management system ims of course ims also developed based on the same here it is actually network model this is a network model ims was uh, So introduced uh, to, to to the world to store the data in hierarchical model. Hierarchical model in the sense something like this: root followed by the first child, second child, and the third child. So without any threading, without any threading, so B plus trees are going to be taken into consideration, and uh, the data will be stored in the form of uh, B plus. Uh, so uh, 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 let me say B plus tree format. So in this way, the data is being stored. This is the actual parent data. I mean, master record, and this is the first level of uh, people. I mean, uh, principal is principal, and the H O D one, H O D two, H O D three, and uh, under this particular H O D, we have faculty one, faculty two, faculty three, and so on. I mean, this is C S A department information, and this is uh, agri uh, department information, and this is uh, so civil department information, something like that. in this way the data is being stored by so ims integrated management system which was developed by uh, uh, a, a, a pioneer in computer science one company pioneer company in computer science one of the pioneer companies of uh, computer science is ibm international business machine okay and it was uh, developed in 1960s uh, late 1960s probably that might be in uh, December 1960. Okay, so with the, with the Bushman's model and with the IBM's model, this is IBM model actually. IBM's model or Bushman's model wanted to store one particular new item or new record. It is somewhat a difficult process, not difficult actually, but it could be taken huge amount of time to store a new record. And search for one particular record also be very 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 tedious process. to avoid this one and these problems are identified by so one person that person name is edge frank card ef card he is the person who identifies so whatever the problems which are uh, pertaining with uh, so called ims and ids and he was introduced he was not actually he was not uh, created any application just he wrote some six papers on uh, databases relational databases and the object oriented relation databases in acm uh, journal based on the the draft which was made by him uh, today's databases are being working out okay and he is the person edgar f prime uh, year for uh, for and he was passed in uh, passed away in the year of 1992 in 1992 he was passed away however so he is the person who identifies many problems in ids and ims based on that theoretically he wrote many papers in acm journal and he was uh, uh, keenly observed and identified the uh, search facility uh, an extensive search facility Uh, between one record to another record in both the uh, IDM and IMS. Okay, so he was identified this one. Based on that, he was uh, described relational database model, and uh, which is used to store very, very, very large, large databases. How the database will be stored the data in large banks were identified by him, and followed by. He, he he was he was in Kodasil normally so Kodasil in the sense of previous uh, network model or hierarchy model 
they are used only linked list they are used only linked list to store the data whereas he was uh, he was uh, identified a new kind of thing which is called as a row column kind of data structure which is called as a table and this particular table might be pixel length i have not written one of the might be pixel length or might be variable length of uh, records might be stored into this particular data and which is used used to used to consider each and every row or each and every thing will be considered as a separate entity okay each table will be considered as a separate entity if you create a table named student all students will be there so that the student entity if you create a table uh, which is called marks all students marks will be there marks entity if you to create one more table called attendance that is attendance entity something like that so each and every table will be considered as one entity and it might be fixed length or it might be variable length okay and uh, relational database model so because of uh, this particular table relations have been identified and uh, so if you have any uh, problems within this particular table you may be apply so decomposition or splitting decomposition or split decomposition in the sense so make them into several number of pieces several number of small 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 pieces and uh, so that uh, you might be having a uh, clear information storing or data storing into those databases so that it could be very easy to maintain very easy to search very easy to uh, i mean insert a new data delete the data delete the some existed data from the thing and apply for the modification everything will be very easy okay it was identified something like it is very free to operate insertion to operate deletion to operate edit or modification of uh, the data so uh, doing all these operations very freely on applying normalization of uh, the tables or relations so would like to make some clarification what is a table and what is a relation would like to make some clarification after two to three classes however a big a big relation a big big table will be splitting or decomposed into several number of small small pieces of tables will be called as the process will be called as so normalization so if you perform normalization then the data will be very freely inserted very freely deleted very freely so edited without uh, without losing very important data so that is why in unit number 4 we'd like to uh, learn something about normalization how normalization can be gets operated so if you are not having normalization what kind of problems you are supposed to face if you have normalized the data then what kind of problems you have eliminated everything will be studied in in unit number 4 So don't worry. Well, then by we'd like to uh, think each and every point or that. Okay. And finally, he is the person who introduced the relational database model and the object-oriented relational database model to the world. So that is why he was called as father of uh, so database management systems. His name is Edgar Frank Ford. E. F. Ford. then followed by so what is the reason to identify what is the reason to have a database so normally uh, before invention of databases or before invention of uh, so ids by whichman so initially we have a flat file system flat file flat flat file system in the sense so how this particular flat file system will be available here let me write uh, at least one or two uh a uh, rose for you to understand what is the flat file system here is it could be same since it's a way so look at this so roll number comma so student name comma uh or could i uh, address comma uh, uh then followed by uh so date of birth comma uh course uh join comma so date of the join of course let us take only this date of join so these are the headings normally these are headings 
and uh, each and every uh, item is being separated by with comma in all the rows of uh, this particular plot file. Plot file in the sense it doesn't have any uh, uh, detailed description of your data here. So I'd like to enter just 501 comma s name in the sense uh, uh, some name Ganesh comma address uh, Nasrobet or some other way and uh, 10 10 so 0 to 19 uh, uh, 92 so this is the date of birth of the particular fellow csc comma date of join is uh, some 0808 uh, so uh, uh, 2000 uh, 2018 for example 2018 this is the first person's information second person information will be 502 comma so krishna comma so let me say Anantapur, uh, uh, some some date of date of birth. Let me copy this say because I am unable to write the many things here. So here, uh, record size will be gets varied from first record to second record. However, each and every record will be gets identified, and uh, each and every record uh, will I mean each and every data item is being uh, separated by commas here. If I would enter one more uh, item here, that is uh, thirty-five thousand as P. Actually, it doesn't have for all records, only for this particular record, it could be there. So such kind of uh, 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 extra items which have been entered by the users where plot file is being created will be identified and they can be stuffed or they can be deleted, deleted from the uh, plot file and they will be stored into actual database. So this is the way of writing so plot file here. Plot file written, uh, writing uh, will be seems in such a in this particular fashion here. Okay, so so uh, flat files will be available here. So if you enter data into flat files, so for 20 rows, 30 rows, or 40 rows, it is okay. I mean, the 20, 20 items or 100 items, 100 students' data or 200 students' data, it is okay. There is no problem. We'll go through that particular flat file and we'll identify. So what are the problems in each and every row? Whether everything will be properly uh, uh, inserted or not, we'll identify. But uh, when uh, some 10 crores of data, 10 crores of lines, 20 crores of lines, or 100 crores of lines will be there with you, then the problems will be reduced. Because the user cannot be go through, so crores together data for the specific uh, uh, specific uh, plot right here. So because of having such kind of a problem, Yes, database have been introduced. Database have been introduced. So, what are the different different uh, so necessities to have uh, a table kind of database which was created by EFCOD here? So, database must be always self-describing in nature. Uh, already we have seen create table command has already seen. So, of course, in this classes also, I mean during the uh, uh, online classes also, we will go through that. So it must be always self-describing like this. And then followed by, so insulation between. So data will be stored somewhere else in, 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 in a repository or server. Some, somewhere else it could be stored. And the user will be connected to this particular server. Whenever any database is required, only that particular database will be accessed by this user. So that uh, only that particular database I mean, uh, one more person will be connected to this particular uh, server, another person will be connected to this particular server, so that uh, data, data will be stored in single place and the data will be always accessed by users separately, so therefore insulation could be gets happened here. What is this insulation? How this insulation will be? Of course, I'm talking only right now, so practically I'll show you when uh, PLSQL so procedural language for structure query language will be there with you then we'll see what is the insulation between uh, so program and the data okay everything will be seen then uh, support of uh, multiple views of data multiple views in the sense you may be you have a huge amount of data with you you can display so the data in any format so select uh, some particular let, let me consider uh, likewise uh, we have some uh, of 150 rows are there with you, then I'd like to select the people who ever have uh, taken their birth in uh, this particular day, the people who ever joined to this particular uh, course only, and the people who ever uh, 
uh, joined in the so and so so and so date only. Something like that. Something like that. So you may be display your data of any kind of uh, uh, condition. So that is called as a multiple view. Multiple view and the mean. Uh, what does it mean? So it just means that uh, you can display your data like anything. Like anything. So that, that the support must be given by that particular database. And the database must be shared between many people. Already we have seen. Already we have, I have given one example at this moment. Okay, so so that the data will be shared among many many number of people, so that uh, everybody have same copy. For example, there is a student database here, so student database, and here student data part will be there with you. So if if uh, user A will be change anything with the student data part, this uh, this this uh, modification will be affected to user B and user C also. How many number of people who are connected to this database? Everybody has uh, has taken the same uh, change in terms of uh, student data for the field. So such kind of facility will be given. And then uh, you may be uh, control the redundancy, redundancy in the sense of repetition. So many number of uh, rows or many number of items will be entered without uh, any necessity. Such kind of things are called as redundancy. We will see what is the redundancy and how redundancy will be eliminated in the unit number four in, 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 in normalization. So we will see how this particular thing will be. And then uh, data must be shared. Already we have taken data must be shared in multiple system, multi user system. Similarly, the data will be shared uh, so with one entity to another entity also. So that must also be there while while uh, with the single single user. Then followed by constraints while uh, data will be taken into consideration so constraints must be enforced what do you mean by constraint the constraint in the sense so in database management systems constraint in the sense so to restrict the incoming data while i have to store some something like this some employee database is there with me employee database so here employee id then uh, then followed by employee name then followed by uh, salary then followed by department, something like this uh, uh, is there with me. So in, in, in my organization, in, the, uh, in my organization salary for all employees is always greater than some uh, 6,000 or 6,000. Below 6,000, nobody is there. And uh, uh, less than uh, are equal to some 70,000. So uh, 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 beyond 70,000, nobody is there. So below uh, 6,000, nobody is there. If you enter data manually, if you enter data uh, for salary field as 2000, so manually it is okay, it will be taken. If we enforce any integrity constraint on salary field, and if you enter some kind of data which is not uh, fall down with this particular uh, uh, condition or criterion, then it will be immediately asked you. So, so called condition is not satisfied so that the data cannot be entered into so called data. Okay, so such kind of conditions will be, this kind of constraints will be, such kind of incoming data will be restricted, such kind of restrictions will be get operated by your database. It's also one of the features of uh, database. Then followed by, if any people, another people will be uh, will be trying to access your database, you must not give such kind of access. Now, what does it mean? You must be able to create the username and password while entering to your database. Such kind of facility must be given by so-called uh, database here. Yes, it could be possible. We'll see. Then uh, data independence must be there. Okay, there is a, a, a clear a clear topic on data independence by tomorrow's class. So we'll see in the tomorrow's class what is data independence. And then uh, transaction processing. Transaction processing in the sense, if any modification will be done by shared item, then how the uh, modification will be took place and uh, during that particular time one more person is trying to access the same item how you can manage them so that is called as the, the transactions in unit number six or unit number five we can see transaction processing how the asset properties are going to be accessed by this particular thing that will be taken care then providing backup and recovery any failures will be gets occurred then how could you recover the data and how could you back up the specific data will also be so uh, give some kind of facility to you to operate within the database.
And finally, so managing information. So how could you manage the so specific information with the, with, with the database? Everything will be known, everything will be get separated by your database. So all these features, so feature number one to feature number 12 will be satisfied by your application software, then that is a complete database management system. That will be comes under complete database management system. And how uh, this could be get satisfied? Yes, we'll go ahead with the next, next, next process. Okay. So then, uh, so we'll see these definitions by tomorrow because the time is already gets over. We have to only so two minutes of time. Uh, during this time, I'd like to take uh, some some uh, attendance of you also. Let me take attendance here. Don't go away. Yes, second. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I, I got some emails of you. So those emails must be added to. Uh,